The Phoenix Suns just pulled off an incredible comeback win late in the fourth quarter as Cam Johnson just played the best game in his entire life, leading the Suns to their league leading 51 wins as they continue to comfortably sit with the best record in the entire NBA. This win came without the likes of the team's two stars in Chris Paul, who's out with a fractured thumb, and Devin Booker, who missed his last two games due to the COVID-19 health and safety protocol as this gave the opportunity for guys on this team to step up in their place to help the Suns get the win, and Cameron Johnson did just that. Although Cam put the team on his back to close out this win with 21 points in the fourth quarter alone, it was a multitude of efforts across the board for this team that all played pivotal roles in what has to be one of the best wins for this team on the season. I understand that the New York Knicks aren't the greatest team by any means, considering they have now lost seven straight games, but that's not why I'm considering this to be a fantastic win for this club. The Phoenix Suns were out two of their stars and even down 14 in the fourth quarter before this team all rallied together and showed why they are one of the deepest teams in the NBA, but also have a ton of experience being able to keep their cools to allow them the opportunity for Cam to hit the game winning. I think it's clear that with Paul and Booker, the Suns probably would have easily walked away with this win, as they are one of the best teams in the NBA at 100%, if not the best, but just being able to close out games like this with some of the depth on this team, taking on larger roles just proves how deep this team is and will only make this team better as they get fully healthy and can then count on some of those guys to step in when stars either aren't healthy in the playoffs or are simply having off nights. Also, only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed so if you end up liking this video consider subscribing it's free and you can always change your mind enjoy the video this was a night that cam johnson will remember forever as the 26 year old came off the bench in this one just playing 28 minutes for the suns got into an altercation with julius randall that eventually led to randall getting ejected in the third quarter to johnson putting up a career high of 38 points again 21 of which came in the fourth quarter and and he managed to shoot 68.8% from the field and 75% from three where he hit nine of his 12 three-point attempts, which is just absurd how well he managed to shoot in this one. And all of this was capped off with a game-winning buzzer beater bank shot that had Suns fans exploding with excitement. Coming out of the All-Star break in his last five games, Johnson has been playing at a level down the stretch that is showing nothing but fantastic signs for the Suns as they might have another offensive star emerging right in front of their eyes as he's been able to put up 23.4 points, three rebounds, three assists, while shooting at an incredibly insane clip of 60% from the field, 58% from three, taking more than eight threes a game, as he's also been automatic from the line as well, shooting 95.8% from the stripe in his last five. This could not be more of a perfect time for Johnson to start emerging on this team and this very well could turn cp3's injury into a low-key blessing in disguise as when he returns from his injury the suns could have an absolute offensive star coming off the bench for them the more he plays like this and his confidence only continues to soar i obviously know that this team doesn't want chris paul to have this injury at all but i'm just trying to lighten up the situation and trying to make the most out of it as this injury is just to his thumb and this could allow his legs to be fresh once the playoffs come around which could be pivotal to to a deep playoff run. Mikhail Bridges also had a fantastic game in this one, playing the most minutes for this team as he managed to score 20 points while grabbing six boards, four assists, and two steals while shooting 54% from the field and hitting three of his four three-point attempts. He came up huge with that late defensive rebound to the Alec Burks missed free throw, which gave Cam Johnson the opportunity to take the game home with his buzzer beater. As Bridges just showed us, you can continuously rely on him to have games like these offensively while playing fantastic defense for the Suns. Cameron Payne was given the starting point guard job in this one with
with Paul out, and he did nothing but impress everyone with how he was able to be the facilitator with the rock, and filled in beautifully for one of the best playmakers of all time. He didn't shoot the ball all too well, but again, his role is usually to come off the bench as the backup guard, so that isn't expected out of him, especially with the other offensive stars on this team, but he managed to grab a career high 16 assists in this one, and one of those he pushed the ball up the court in the dying seconds, then set up Cam for that game winner. Having a backup point guard with the potential to put up a 16 assist game is going to do this team wonders, especially just so this team feels more comfortable in an intense playoff series to give CP3 the rest he'll need from time to time, and this can only raise the ceiling for what this team will be able to accomplish. Crowder had a solid night as the vet on this team, making some tough baskets down the stretch. Ayton, Biombo, and JaVale all had rather quiet nights as the centers on this team, but for Ayton, it was nothing of concern as it was just a very uncharacteristic type of night for him. And the same could be said for Shamit, who came into this one replacing Booker for his starting spot, but it was Aaron Holiday who looked really good in the 15 minutes he played. Holiday was traded from the Wizards at the deadline for cash considerations, and this trade is very quick turning into an absolute steal for the Suns. In last night's win, he had 10 points and 4 assists off the bench, and he looked really confident taking the ball to the rim, and even set his teammates up for looks, as this has been the recent emerging story for this franchise, as this just continues to add to the already stacked amount of depth they possess. In the 7 games he's played with the Suns, he's played a massive role, especially with Chris Paul being out, as he's been asked to be the backup guard on this team, as Cam Cameron Payne got elevated to a starting role. In 18 minutes a game with the Suns, he's averaged 8 points and 4 assists, and he's been shooting 50% from the field and over 63.6% from the Suns have gone 3-2 and two since the All-Star break, and although that obviously isn't up to their usual standard, considering they were without Chris Paul for all five, and Booker was out of two of them, they are more than happy with those results, as their main goal as of right now is to do whatever it takes to keep the number one seed in the NBA with the guys they have healthy, and I think that's more than possible, especially with how this team was able to battle through the mud last night. It's no question that this team deserves to be considered among the top contenders to win it all, in large part due to the big three of Aiton, CP3, and Booker when healthy, but last night showed that even when two of them are out and Aiden had a subpar game, this team is built so well that they have guys beyond that that can overcome a 14 point deficit without the need of their stars and win the game. When those guys come back, which Booker is supposed to in the coming week once he clears protocol, and Chris Paul hopefully sometime before the postseason, this team will be more than ready to try and go for it redemption from their absolutely devastating finals loss last season to the Milwaukee Bucks. You can just tell that this team could not be hungrier to get the job done in the postseason, as the locker room has seemed impeccable in terms of completely buying into the fact that this season is a championship or bust year. By the way guys have stepped up or even bought into bench roles, the way they've been able to bring in new acquisitions late in the season, ensuring they're comfortable. Even Aaron Holiday said it himself that he's never Ever seen a team built like this where every guy comes into the gym even on off days to work out which is just something that has never been normal for him on a team and it just goes to show you how mentally locked in these guys are let me know if you guys think the Phoenix Suns have what it takes to hold off the rest of the NBA and remain a top seed even with Chris Paul out with injury as always if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like as it helps the video get shared across YouTube's algorithm and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more NBA videos videos like this one that I will be posting multiple times per week. Thank you all for watching and I hope you all have a great night.